today's video, I'm gonna give you my top 10 fragrances for life. So this is a video I've done a couple years ago. It's a fun video. People like this type of content. So I'm gonna give it to you guys and I hope you enjoyed the video by the end. And if you do, make sure you get subscribed to the channel by clicking the red subscribe button down below. Like the video and click the bell icon so you miss any future content on this channel as well. I probably have over 200 something fragrances. I've lost count. I've traded fragrances. I've sold fragrances, so on and so forth. But 10 for life's a lot. So I'm pretty much telling people, these are 10 fragrances that I would just keep in my collection. If I throw away the rest or give away the rest to friends and family, these are the 10 that I can't live without. What are your favorite 10 for life fragrances, whether designer, niche, or a mix of both? Leave your comment down below. My number 10 fragrance is from the House of Tom Ford. This is Grey Vetiver Parfum. This is an awesome scent. If you like uh, the original Tom Ford Grey Vetiver, but this has some added a little bit of darkness to it, a little bit of mysteriousness to it. This is some vetiver, there's some orange blossom. Definitely getting a, a dark leathery feel in the fragrance. You're getting some saffron. It's a very nice fragrance. Definitely an elegant gentleman scent. In the mid and dry, you're getting very similar to the original Tom Ford Grey Vetiver EDT, which I love. I sold it. Don't know why I did it. Nevertheless, if you like the EDT, you're going to like something like this. If you like the EDP, you're going to like it as well. It has similarities to the other flankers of Tom Ford Grey Vetiver, so you're definitely going to like something like this. Performance is great as well. You're looking at about a good six to eight hours on the skin. You're going to have good projection as well. Pretty much a little beyond moderate. People are going to like the way you smell. If you like Vetiver scents and you like the Tom Ford lineup, you're definitely going to like Tom Ford Grey Vetiver Parfum. Definitely check it out. Number nine fragrance for now is by Killian. This is Intoxicated. This is one of my favorite Killian fragrances. Um, if you like notes of cardamom, very nice and spiciness in it. Um, that notes in a lot of seductive fragrances like um, Lee Saint Laurent, um, Lanouy de Lum. It has nice sexy cardamom. If you like coffee and fragrance, a coffee note. If you like nutmeg, you're gonna like something like this here. This is your coffee sweet seductive fragrance in a bottle. Now I know some people are not are put off by coffee fragrances. Definitely give us one to try. You might actually like it. It's very nice, seductive. A woman who wear it well as a man. Perfectly a great unisex fragrance. This is great for now to buy Killian. Now one of my other favorites which I don't have um, is Vodka on the Rocks. I love that one as well, which I'll get a bottle in the future. But this is one I love a lot. It's definitely a dark, mysterious vibe to it. I like it. It's sweet. Um, definitely great for the fall and winter time as well. You can wear it in the spring if you want, but I feel like it shines better in the darker months. It tends to bottles dark in the gold plaque. This is great, guys. If you like that sweet cardamom nutmeg fragrance, definitely more leaning on that gourmand side as well. Definitely check out Intoxicated by the House of By Killian. This has great performance as well, which I'll leave my videos down below. Definitely check this out right here. Number eight fragrance from the house of Zoal is my favorite niche brand in the world. This is Harvest Mouse. This exclusive limited edition bottle. We do have a regular bottle as well. If you like um, a nice bit of freshness with the Bergamani opening, you're definitely getting a nice freshness with this fragrance here. It's like a fresh gourmand type of fragrance. They have notes of vanilla, there's benzoin. They have a beer slash ale vibe, kind of like a beer smell like. And I drink beer, so obviously I kind of get that vibe in this fragrance here, but it's not off-putting at all. You're definitely getting that, but you're getting a nice coziness with this vanilla, booziness, creamy quality. I like the color of the juice in the back. Definitely a fresh slash gourmand type of fragrance. You're gonna love this one. First off, the beautiful bottle. Well, Kelly loves the beautiful little mouse. It's great, guys. This is one of the best from Zoologist. This is a great fragrance that you could pretty much wear all year round. This could be a great signature scent. I would tone the sprays down maybe in the summer because it might be a little bit sticky coin, but from spring, fall, and winter time, you can do five sprays and you should be good to go. This one here will garner you uh, some attention, maybe some comments in the near future, but this is great, guys, if you like, um, bergamot if you like vanilla benzoin um hay like a hay type of feel this is awesome guys a very different type of fragrance on the market you're not going to smell like everybody else so if you want something different that's easy and pleased to wear to people around the world definitely check out zoologist is harvest mouse number seven is from the house of mind games one of my favorite brands that are up and coming for niche game this is no other than guard desk this fragrance is straight fire if you like leather fragrances that are unoffensive, that's not gonna be sticky or coin-like. This is a great fragrance for you guys. Definitely a great unisex fragrance. This fragrance has notes of orange slash Irish. You get like a bit of powdery feel in the fragrance, but I kind of get more like a slightly uh, Prada Lone vibe, very fresh and easy to wear and elegant. Definitely getting this leather feel. The leather is very nice, sexual appealing, but it's not like a, 
It's not a harsh leather where it's kind of crisp or heavy in your face. It's a nice subtle leather where women and men both like this scent. Even Kelly likes this and she's not a leather fan at all. You guys know Kelly. She's very a heavy critic of leather fragrances. She loves this one off of me. It has this popcorn accordion to dry down. This is a very different fragrance that you've ever smelled in fragrances. Definitely check out Mind Games. There's some apricot. There's some blackberry as well. This is a nice leather slash fresh slash powdery scent. This is very good, guys. If you want a nice fragrance that either your girl can wear or you can wear it as a man, definitely check out Gardez. I love the black on black bottle. It's an elegant fragrance. One of my favorites from the brand. I would say this is probably my number one favorite from the brand of Mind Games. This is amazing. So is Kaiser. And there is actually Checkmate as well. There's a couple bangers, including Double Attack. Check out the whole brand, but this is amazing. Leather slash Oris. Uh, fragrance, you're definitely gonna love this. You like those type of notes, you can wear this all year as a signature scent as well. Definitely check out Gardez. Number six fragrance is from the house of Tom Ford. Another Tom Ford fragrance, right? Costa Zora Parfum. You guys know I love Tom Ford Costa Zora. I love the whole lineup from the first one to Flanker after Flanker. Some I didn't really care for, but I do love the whole line of Costa Zora. It's one of my favorite lines. Oh man, this is just that sea salty fresh fragrance i love wearing in the spring and summertime this gives me that ocean vibe where i want to go down to the beach enjoy life have a good time and i get this with a fragrance like this when i wear it i bring up the memories where i went down to the shore and had a great time with my friends and family definitely a great pick me up make me feel a happy scent so this has notes of lemon right it has notes of oak this has labanum, this has amber, it has cypress, a nice, fresh, sea salty summer vibe fragrance. You're definitely getting a sea saltiness about it, which I like as well. And if you like those type of scents, you're gonna love something like this. I love the gold bottle as well. Definitely a nice touch added to detail. Very nice and elegant as well. But if you want a summer and spring fragrance, this is it right here in a bottle. You wanna smell like you're going down to the beach. You wanna smell that ocean wave breeze. This is it in a bottle here. Definitely check out Tom Ford. And this is Costa Zora Parfum. Got five fragrances left. These ones are heavy hitter guys. So you guys should definitely check these five out as well as the other five that I talked about. Definitely get samples at the end of the day. But these next five are killer. So definitely check them out. Five fragrances from the house of Zahara. This fragrance here is Leather Tobacco. Oh my God, guys. This fragrance is amazing. It's signature Leather Tobacco, um, straight fire. If you like um, leather fragrances, this is one of the best leather fragrances that money can buy and on the market right now. I bought this bottle, it was not sent to me, but for me for review. If you like leather, plum, if you like um, this sway feel, if you like smokiness, tobacco, this is one of the best winter fragrances that money can buy right now for the fall and winter coming up. It's heavy, it's potent in your face. You don't need many sprays, maybe two or three, you're good to go for the day. This one here, I'm easy getting well over 10 hours of longevity. I have no complaints. This stays on the skin, on and on, so I come home and scrub it off. It has a slight bit of booziness in it. Definitely that tobacco, the leather, the suede, the plum, to do like. It's definitely a grown man type of scent. Put some hair on your chest type of vibe. Love the beautiful bottle and the dark colored juice. Kind of give you that whiskey feel and the fragrance with the coloration. This is fire, guys. This is automatically a 10 out of 10 for me when I did my full review. I tried to leave the video down below. Definitely check it out. And I mean, I don't say it too often with fragrances because I don't want to be that guy. Every fragrance, 10 out of 10. Chris, come on now. This is a 10 out of 10. If you love leather fragrances, if you love plum, if you like smoky fragrance, you want a grown man fragrance, you don't want the unisex stuff, this is it right here. You buy this fragrance here for the full one at a time, and this is a statement maker fragrance. People will know this guy means business wearing a fragrance like this. Very elegant, very rich, in-your-face type of fragrance. And you will be noticed. Whether it's good or bad, people will be talking about you wearing leather tobacco or signature leather tobacco by Zahra. I love this fragrance. George, this is a masterpiece. Definitely check it out. Number four fragrance for now is Christian Dior, my favorite brand, baby. This is Oud Espahans. This is from the La Privé collection. This one here is amazing. You guys know I love Dior as a fanboy. I talk about them to death. I don't get paid any money, but I love the brand. I love the magnetic cap. And these Privé fragrances are amazing. So this one here is a Oud and Rose combo. If you like Oud and Rose, you're gonna love something like this. It used to be very heavy and potent and used to be a little bit pungent back in the day, barnyard smell like that. It's toned it down some where it's more easier and pleasant for people to wear. You do get a slightly bit of that barnyard feel coming from the Agri Witch slash Oud, 
but you're definitely getting that rose some patchouli as well and this is a great elegant scent i know a woman could wear as well as a man i love wearing this one by house of oud Bahan. and this was my first iteration of fragrance it was right in my face and the first day or two was very hard to wear this because i got the original back in the day i got a little sample and then i toned down some and then the new version came out and this one here has been reformulated but i love the fragrance at the end of the day whether it's the old batch or new batch if you like oud and rose combos you're gonna love something this, this has patchouli as well and Labyrinth. And this is basically a, a Oud and Rose Lover Dream. If you like those type of notes, you're gonna love something like this. Very elegant, a, definitely a great gentleman or woman fragrance can wear this. You're definitely gonna smell different when you go out in public, gonna stand out from the pack. So definitely check out Oud Espahan by Christian Dior, the La Privé collection. Number three fragrance is from the House of Rosia. This is Oceania. You guys know how I feel about this. So I just got it a couple months ago. At Perfumology, shout out to Nier Guy and Brian. This is an amazing fragrance. A 10 out of 10 for me. So this has a lot of notes, right? I'm going to cover some of my notes. Bergamot, lemon, lime, rosemary, sandalwood, muskiness. There's ambergris. This is a fresh ocean fragrance. Definitely get this aquatic feel, but they don't list aquatic notes. I love this presentation. This is ocean in a bottle. This is summer in a bottle. I literally can't say no more about this. If you want a summer fragrance or a spring and summer fragrance as a signature scent, this is it right here. This has great longevity. I'm getting eight hours on my skin. Some people might get six. So I just wait six to eight hours on the skin. Has great projection for the first hour. Very nice, moderate projection. It's great for the spring and summertime. It's not too sticky coin. It's not too heavy and pronounced. It's nice and subtle where people are gonna catch whilst of it. When they get near, they're going to like the way you smell. They're going to want to follow you around the beach, right? <laughs> or down the boardwalk, right? Crazy, right? This is an amazing scent. I love this one by the House of Rosia. It is very pricey. I've said it before. I'll say it again. Get yourself a decan. I'll leave links down below the website so you can get samples of any fragrance I talk about. This is an amazing spring and summer fragrance, guys. I love the lemon, the lime. This is just, this is something I cherish when I wear this a lot. I'm very happy to wear it. Definitely, if you live in a warmer climate, this could be a great signature scent for you. If you live in Florida, uh, if you live in the Caribbean, if you live in Mexico or Hawaii, you're going to love a fragrance like this. So if you want those fresh and clean aquatic fragrances, sea salty, definitely check out Rocha Parfum. And this is Oceania. Number two could easily be my number one. They're both great fragrances. And I put number one up for a reason, but I'll tell you that later on in the video. Number two fragrance is Creed Viking. You guys know I love Creed Viking. Most likely it'll probably be my wedding day scent. It's about 98 point something percent sure. There's another contender as well. This is straight fire. Okay, if you like peppermint, which I love peppermint and fragrance, I love that mint note. You're gonna love something like this. If you like the note of bergamot, um, you're getting this lem lemon, you're getting um, musk in the fragrance. You're definitely picking up some lavender and some Haitian vetiver. You're going to love this fragrance here. Definitely, I know people say they get a barbershop fougere vibe, and I definitely pick up something like that in this fragrance here. You kind of get a barbershop vibe, like you went to the barbershop, got a fresh haircut, fresh shave. This is a very elegant gentleman scent. This is not a unisex where a woman guy could wear. If a woman wants to wear it, that's great. But I feel like this is a masculine scent through in and throughout. This is one of the fragrances that it means a lot to me. I enjoy wearing it a lot, guys. When I wear something like this, I feel like I'm all put together. I got a haircut, clean shave, got a nice outfit on. I'm ready to tackle the world. This is how I feel wearing Creed Viking. I love that minchiness in the fragrance. It lasts a good amount of time on my skin. I love the vetiver in it. I love that this fragrance has lavender. So it's very nice and there's a freshness about it as well. So it's not like a sweet fragrance. There is some slightly tonka bean to dry down. This is great as a great lavender based scent. And there's some mintiness as well. Definitely check out Creed Viking. This has great performance. I get about eight to nine hours of longevity. And it puts for the first, I would say, hour and a half to two hours on my skin. I love this one by the House of Creed. This is my favorite Creed fragrance. You guys heard me say it over and over again. I don't talk about too much of my chair anymore because, you know, I've talked about the death. I love Creed Viking. If you're new to Creed fragrances, check out Creed Viking before you check out Aventus. This is a masterpiece fragrance from the brand number one fragrance is from the house of m wise this is search this is amazing so i bought this by the perfumology this is a masterpiece fragrance as well so this has notes of lemon lime mandarin orange obanum there's some resins black pepper vetiver oud this is a great fragrance guys i love the presentation as well 
And this one here is one that, um, when I wear something like this, I smell very different. It has a nice bit of freshness that lasts, I would say, from the opening until the heart of the fragrance. A nice bit of freshness that goes through the life of the fragrance. But you're definitely picking up some oud in the fragrance. You're getting some woodiness and some resins. So that will affect some people who may not like this fragrance as well. I know my fiance Kelly's not the biggest fan of it. I do like wearing it. And it's because there's a freshness about there's a oud in it, but the oud doesn't come off stinky like, as in like King Blue from MY. This is, I feel like, is more easier to wear than King Blue. I like King Blue as well, but I prefer this over King Blue. I like the green bottle or like this lightly greenish bluish bottle here. I like this one a lot. Very elegant scent. You can dress this up. Performance is great. I'm easy getting well over, I would say, I think 10 hours of longevity on my skin. I really have no complaints. This stays on the skin for a long time. That freshness lasts for a good couple of hours and you're definitely getting incense and resins. This is a great gentleman scent. A woman can wear it as well if you want to wear it as a, as a woman, but I feel like it's more of a masculine scent for me with the resins, the oud, the el obanum. I love this one. It's fresh. I like the lemon and the mandarin in this fragrance here. This is a great spring and summer fragrance. You can wear it all year round, signature scent, because it has the push where you can wear it in the spring and summer, which is going to be great. And you can wear it in the fall and winter time because it has that kick of obanum and has the dark components to it from the agar witch slash oud this can be worn all year round and you're going to smell amazing and the price is pretty expensive but you get what you pay for great performance great longevity and i love the beautiful presentation as well m wash search definitely check this out if you are new to m wash fragrances you're going to like something like this very different and you're going to smell fantastic what are your guys favorite fragrances you guys like wearing or what are your top 10 fragrances for life Drop your comment down below whether it's all designers or niche or a mixture of designer, niche, and indie. Let me know what your favorites are down below. If you made this far and you liked the video, please show your support by giving me a like. I appreciate that. Don't forget to click the bell icon so you miss any content on the channel. And please don't forget to click that red subscribe button down below. Be safe, everyone. I'll catch you guys in a new video very soon. Peace.